All right, the fire's started. House is getting warm. Let's go check on the little cat. Hey, Buttercup. How's your baby? Hey, baby boy. Oh. <laughs> hey, buddy. Looks fine. Hey, turkey. All right, Buttercup. Let's get you some fresh water. I just poured warm water from the tap on top of the couple inches of ice that was already in her water feeder. We don't have a tank, a tank heater, so this is the way we do it for now. <laughs> it works fine. Okay, back to the baby. Look at this. He is standing up on his own. And he's excited. Hey, buddy. <laughs> it's a little dirty in here. Um, every day we've been putting a new layer of straw on because we want to keep him warm in the barn and this straw and uh, manure mixture oh he's still weak but um, the straw and manure mixture um, is producing its own heat which actually makes this barn even warmer than than it would be but even an uninsulated barn like almost all barns are you know is uh, remarkably a lot warmer than than just being being outside. Hey turkey. <laughs> hey buddy. He doesn't have a name yet. We're considering Tiny Tim because he was lame and because he did not die. <laughs> um, we've also thought of the name Bambi. It reminded us of the movie Bambi when the, the little deer is a little wobbly when he comes out. So yeah, his um, his ankles are obviously weak still. You saw him tum stumble a little, little bit. But we've been feeding him colostrum, been bottle feeding him for a couple days. And uh, we've been using that, that first colostrum, which is the stuff that's really healthy. Lots of fat, lots of vitamins. We've been carefully warming that over double, double boiler. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and... Uh, He's been getting those nutrients and that fat to help keep him warm and healthy. And the vitamins are going to help his, his ankles to heal very quickly. <laughs> He's so um, agile right now compared to... Oh, hey! <laughs> it's almost like he's, he's now where he should be for a brand newborn calf. He's, he's just, you know, two or three days behind in his development as far as his, his ligaments go. And he is excited for milk because we've been, we've been feeding him so he knows that we mean milk. <laughs> and then also, it's really cool that as we've been giving him the milk from the bottle, you know, we don't want him to necessarily be bottle fed, although it's it's fun. You know, it's definitely fun to have a bottle fed calf because he loves us and co comes to us for food. But we also want Buttercup to to be his mother um, because she's with him 24 hours a day. We have other things to do. Obviously, we can't do just this, but she can, and she loves it. So we've been trying to get him to nurse, and he has been, and he's he nursed. Um, at least four times that we saw and that we were part of yesterday and uh, he was markedly better at it and so was she every single time. So I'm gonna get milk in and Laura Jean is actually in, inside right now warming up some of that colostrum because we want colostrum in him <laughs> So cute. 
but I also want to milk Buttercup so we can keep her producing and make sure that she doesn't have any problems. Alright, so first thing I do is I get some hay. I'm doing this one-handed so I'm not quite getting as much as I normally do, but I'll get it in a minute. So we just toss some hay in there and as soon as Buttercup knows that it's there, she'll come on over. And uh, while we're waiting for her, I'll go ahead and put down some fresh straw. Here she comes. <laughs> Now, what I'm doing now is the natural way to take care of, of waste. And if you want to go so far as to say it's the natural way to take care of human waste, maybe we could change the planet if everybody were to take care of it that way and allow it to break down. But here in the barn, we allow the poop and the pee to break down by bacterial action by mixing it with straw or other sources of carbon and as long as it's aerated enough it'll heat up and in the winter time we'll see vast amounts of steam coming out and this thing will stay hot not just warm but I mean, really hot like burn your hands hot even in the winter time and in the spring it is cooked so thoroughly that there is nothing left in that as far as dangerous pathogens and all that's left is good stuff for the garden. This is Alex's first time. Come here, buddy. If you Bottle let feeding him the baby. Lick it and then stand backwards. <laughs> yeah, let's make him stand up. Good job. There you go. <laughs> Have you been walking around today? Yes, bouncing around. Oh, yay! <laughs> Big improvement. Yeah, huge, yes. huge, huge improvement. He's a hungry boy. Wow, I can hear him slurping. <laughs> he has a foamy spit now. <laughs> yeah. Has it been today? Uh, not that I've seen, not yet. Yeah, it's oh. good, huh? <laughs> it sounds cute. This is his immunization. Natural immunization is the the first oh. milk, the colostrum. He's one small he's milk. And so we want to get all of that in there over the next few days. And then we'll allow him to Dad, drink he's from Buttercup. To drink Molly, um, Buttercup's milk. Yeah. He's he's ready. Ah, I'm like a chicken. But Buttercup is is so full that um, she's been having a hard time letting him nurse when she's this full. <laughs> <laughs> and so what I've been doing is I've been starting her out very carefully, very softly, um, relieving some of that pressure, some of that pain, and then she allows the baby to, to drink more readily. In fact, you can tell it feels good for her, and he of course loves it, but um, <laughs> in these first few days when she is so engorged in her udder, it, it really seems to help her um, when, I, when I milk her a little bit. And then I finish up afterwards to make sure she stays healthy and in milk. <laughs> I got him prancing around. It's so cute. You ready for a break? Look at him. He's not interested in the bottle anymore. But look how fat his belly is. That is nuts. Like, he was not that. He's growing so fast. I think he's full. He probably, there's no way, the explanation for that, it must be that he's just drinking he's from just mom. Drinking, yeah. Yay! Yippee! <laughs> that was an easy chore. Yeah, really. Well, I guess let's go do the pig one. Nah, let's just go put that bottle in the fridge. Cute boy. Mm. It looks like he's tired from prancing around, so. Yeah. We'll, farm that we well, I am going to go inside and make some waffles for everybody, yeah. so I think we'll close it out. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later. Bye! Thank you.